Let's start your investment journey. Hi all and welcome to another edition of our weekly market outlook report for the week starting Monday the 18th of January. We have a busy week ahead of us which starts with Japanese industrial production and Chinese retail sales and GDP for quarter four figures on Monday. On Tuesday, we should be on the lookout for Eurozone ZEW Economic Sentiment Survey for January. Going forward, Chinese interest rate decision, UK, Eurozone and Canada consumer price index figures will be followed by Japanese trade balance for December and also US crude oil inventories on Wednesday. On Thursday, the main point of interest is reserved for Australian unemployment figures. Also, Bank of Japan and ECB are due to publish interest rate decisions, monetary policy statements and press conference. That will be followed in the afternoon with US jobless claims data. The week will finish on Friday with UK, Eurozone and US preliminary manufacturing and services PMI figures. Now, let's take a look at few markets. Let's start with uh, the German 30 uh, or the DAX index uh, in four hourly time frame. We can see that the price action had a corrective pullback on Friday in particular. Uh, key trading level going forward is at 13,880, call it 13,900. Uh, bears appear to be in uh, complete control below that level. So rally from these oversold levels into 13,900 and a rejection uh, or a dip lower and a loss of these current lows at 13,700, 13,670. A retest of that level from underneath as a newly found resistance could open the way for the extension of this downward move targeting 13,600, possibly even 13,540, 13,450 to the downside. Alternatively, uh, if we see a rally and a breakout above 13,900 uh, and an end of day close above this level in particular, retest of this level from above as a newly found support that could create a short squeeze therefore indicate the continuation of this uptrend uh, potentially opening the way for the extension to the upside targeting resistance at 14,000 round number psychologically important level breakouts above that level 14,100 and even higher uh, Dow Jones also um, it's still uptrending in higher time frames uh, daily's uh, price action is still trading above 20 50 200 period moving averages uh, but it's coming to uh, some significant levels of support at 30,600 uh, some analysts are pointing to this current price action as a double top therefore an overextended uh, market conditions to the upside uh, now we see a loss of the neckline and the retest at 30,900. As long as 30,900 level holds, uh, bears appear to be in control, potentially opening the way for the extension to the downside. Uh, loss, either a rally and a rejection or a loss of 30,600 to the downside could open the way for a deeper corrective move towards 30,350 possibly even 30,100, maybe even 30,000, which would be even number to the downside. Alternatively, if you see a rally and a breakout above 30,900 uh, and a spike higher, the next level of interest for the bulls is at 31,030, which is the cluster of these lows. Uh, breakout above that level could open the way for the continuation of this upward move all of this becomes a sideways consolidation in overall uptrending market targeting 31,250 and higher. Euro dollar clear indication of selling pressure here. Uh, US dollar strength uh, and euro weakness. This is the daily time frame. Uh, I'm showing you this time frame because I would like you to see the existence of this uptrending market. Um, this was a support trend line now lost and retested from underneath as a newly found resistance. So this is now a resistance area at one spot 2270, one spot 23, psychologically important level. From the intraday uh, point of view, a rally from the current overextended market conditions into one spot 31, 
60, one spot 32 and a rejection from there or a dip lower and a loss of these current lows towards one spot 2050 could open the way for the continuation of this selling pressure targeting additional support at one spot 2040, one spot 20. 1950 possibly even one spot 19 over a longer period of time which would signify the retest of november and possibly even september uh, and uh, yeah sep september november uh, swing highs of last year uh, only a rally from one spot 23 and end of day close uh, above one spot 23 is required for a short squeeze and continuation of this upward move uh, potentially targeting resistance at one spot 2340 one spot 24 possibly even one spot 25 sterling dollar e trend is still intact uh, we still have the sequence of higher lows the price is still supported by multiple moving averages and various rising trend lines so unlike euro sterling dollar appears to be um, still intact the trend still appears to be intact which is also visible in a euro sterling weakness uh, key trading level going forward is at the current low which is our 20-day moving average at one spot 35.75 as long as that level holds bulls return here and push the price higher or we see uh, a, 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 a pullback into this area here which is one spot 35.40 and a rally from there uh, that's still bullish potentially opening the way for the continuation of this move targeting resistance at cluster of these highs at one spot 36.80 one spot 37.50 possibly even one spot 38.60 over a longer period of time some longer term analysts are pointing to one spot 40. alternatively if we see a dip lower and a loss of this shaded area here one spot 34.60 retest of that level from underneath um, and a daily close below that level could open the way for a deeper corrective move towards one spot 34 33 16 possibly even one spot 32 50 to the downside and that would change the trend um, currently uh, dollar japanese yen we had a clearly downtrending market the price was capped by multiple moving averages and also trend lines um, this is a clear indication of us dollar strength so we saw a breakout above 103.60 and rally into 104 uh, this consolidation here uh, if i open this in four hourly time frame would appear as a bullish consolidation therefore a breakout and a retest key trading level going forward is at 103.50 as long as that level holds bulls are in charge potentially uh, looking for an extension of this upward move towards 104.50 105 105.50 to the upside which would be a retest of our 200 day moving average and also daily falling resistance trend line here uh, alternatively if you see a dip lower a daily close below 103.50 that would change the outlook there for us dollar weakness potentially opening the way for a deeper corrective move towards 103 102 80 to the downside lastly let's talk about gold gold had a massive uh, sell-off again on friday um daily uh, sideways consolidation is still intact uh this now appears to be a fake out key trading level going forward is at 1860 uh if i open this up in four hourly time frame it becomes a little bit more visible so we saw a selling pressure sideways consolidation they have the tendency to break to the downside people who tend to trade this they would take the widest point of this consolidation and extend it at the breakout level to the downside to find support and that would bring us to these uh, lows down here towards 1820 loss of 1820 would be seen as a fairly bearish potentially opening the way for a deeper corrective move towards 1775 possibly even 1760 to the downside uh, which will bring us to the that uh, uh, support in daily time frame the lower levels of that falling uh, support trend line of the sideways consolidation Alternatively, if we see a rally and a breakout above 1860 and end of day close above that level, that could trigger a short squeeze targeting additional resistance initially at 1880, 1890, 
followed by 1900 which would be a psychologically important resistance on the upside only an end of day close above 1900 uh, would trigger further bullishness potentially opening the way uh, and the continuation of this uh, longer term bullish uh, trend towards 18 sorry 1950 1965 uh, to the upside thank you for watching thank you for listening stay safe and happy trading bye for now let's start your investment journey